Hello, wonderful people. Welcome back to Sally's Recipes. In this video, I'll be teaching us how to make delicious and soft meat pie at home using meat pie cutter. After making this meat pie, you will never go to any Italy to buy meat pie again. Trust me, guys, on this one. So I will go ahead and leave all the ingredients used for this recipe in the description box below. Check it out and try yours. And these are the few things I do on this channel. I teach cooking, baking and a little bit of everything. So let's get into the video. Here is Irish potato. I've washed, peeled, cut it into smaller pieces. Set it aside. Do the same thing with the carrot, wash it dry and cut it into smaller pieces and set it aside. And here is the meat. Where I live, I was not able to get grounded meat, so I bought normal meat, I boil it seasoning so after that cut the meat into smaller pieces transfer it to a grater pass it for a few times just for the meat to pieces and you will have your grounded meat so in case you don't have grounded meat it is not the end of the world you can still do your meat by a using this simple method and to my pan Add a little oil, diced onions, and fry until the onions is a little bit brown. Add seasoning, stir for a while. Then transfer the grounded meat into it. Fry the meat until golden brown. Add curry and thyme. Then transfer the vegetables inside it. That is the carrot and the Irish potato. Stir it for at least three minutes. Add water. And here is little flour. You need to mix it with water before you add to it. It will act as a grinder for the meat pie sauce. So that by the time you are eating, everything will not be falling apart. Add more water to it. And cover it to cook for at least 5 minutes. Or until when the vegetables become a bit tender. Set it aside and make sure that it cools down completely before using it for the meat pie. And to my flour, I add in butter, baking powder and a pinch of salt. Add the eggs and stir everything together. After then, add in liquid thick milk. I'm using evaporated milk here. So it all depends on the consistency. So don't just put all the milk at the same time. Add little by little as you mix everything together until everything becomes doughy or not sticky. So my pan, I will cream it with butter Dust it with little flour and set it aside. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with family and friends or anyone you want to share it with. By the time your sauce must have cooled down completely, dust your work surface and begin to transfer the dough balls. Flatten it using your ruler. Don't over flatten it. Transfer it onto a meat pie cutter. Using a spoon. 
on, take a little of the meat pie sauce, transfer onto it, just enough so that it will be easy for you to cover. Cover it and cut out the excess. And here is our meat pie. Transfer it onto the baking pan. Just like this. I'm using a small pan here because I'm using a local pot to bake this meat pie. So use a pan that you will be sure that it will enter inside your pot. So for this pan, it can only contain 4 meat pie as you can see. Braise it with eggs so that it will come out shining and looking more delicious and appealing to the eyes. Into my pot that I'll be using to bake the meat pie, add in salt. You can use sand as an alternative in case you don't have enough salt. To eat, I will put in my baking rack so that it does not the pan does not sit directly inside the salt. Put the meat pie onto it and cover it and allow it to bake for at least 30 minutes. 